What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? It's me, Carol. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol. Um, and today we're back again with another flavor review for ye. You have been stopped. This flavor is among three flavors that are going to be um coming out. Uh, it should be. I think I'm gonna drop all these videos consecutively pretty pretty fast. Reason being is because one, my upload schedule has been sucky. Two, um, I just want to get these flavors out because these flavors are amazing. Um, I, th I believe this week, like I said, don't call me on it. But we have, of course, the shiny splash, which I wanted to show you guys that I do have this flavor in hand and I do have this flavor ready for a review so um yeah i got this flavor actually uh early so yeah that's pretty pretty cool you could uh pre-order it like i said in my last video and uh i predicted that it was going to ship either the 5th or the 6th of november in which it did so <sighs> great so there's the shiny splash tub uh by a drive he finally got his own flavor um it looks gorgeous by the way like the tub it just looks so cool um, I did get three tubs of this flavor. One, because I'm betting I'm going to like it. Uh, if not more than Hype Sauce. Uh, so, I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, and I'm also excited about this one. This one came out a little bit ago, but I never got around to make the video. This is, uh, G Fuel's Nemesis Tea flavor. This was a, uh, collaboration with Resident Evil 3, or Capcom. Uh, so, sorry for the glare, but there is that little demon guy. He's looking sexy, I guess. Uh, then you got all the numbers, which is really, really cool. And then you have the Nemesis T, and then you got, uh, it's sugar-free, of course, and 15 calories. So, again, these are going to be the two new flavors that I'm going to be doing, along with this one that I'm going to be doing today in this video. So, uh, stay tuned. Turn on notifications and you guys will get to, you know, watch the video as soon as it comes out for these two flavors. So, this is the flavor we're going to be doing today. As, as you guys can tell uh, by just the branding, this is the Phase X flavor for G Fuel. I do believe uh, there is collector's boxes still available along with the new reskins of Peach Ice Tea and the new reskins of Sour Blue Chug Rug. Those two collector's boxes, I believe, are still available. Um, nothing really has been selling out in G Fuel. Uh, before, we had collector's boxes just, like, selling out really, really fast. Which I'm glad they're not selling out. I'm glad uh, people are going to get a chance to get their hands on one of these and, you know, get to see it, of course. Because, um, yeah, this stuff is just really, really cool. So, I'm glad you guys can actually get this for yourself. So, here it is. This is the Phase X collector's box. So, there's the front of the collector's box my camera will actually focus uh it says uh collector's edition on the top and then it says uh 2010 to forever um which of course is when phase started partnering with g fuel back in 2010 um then you have the phase x of course right there then you have the g fuel energy logo on the side you have energy focus endurance and reaction of course on the back you have a really really cool phase x logo with the kind of like a tiger stripe pattern and then you have thegfuel.com so yeah collector's box looks really really cool on the top again phase x logo uh yeah this is this is this is really really cool they also released a uh, miami shaker cup which is right here a uh, really really cool shaker cup of course uh it's after the miami mornings shaker cup which released only twice since gfuel has been a company and it's sold out again and i never got to get it but at least I have the Phase X Miami Mornings shaker. Yeah, this one, this one, this one is cool. Of course, Phase has been with G Fuel since uh, 2010, and I think they're going to plan on staying with Phase uh, for the for a while at least, because um, Phase has been one of their primary sponsors, which is pretty pretty cool. Because we do get really really cool Phase uh, collabs. Um, anyways, here is the to go scoop. Which, of course, um, if you're not a total idiot, uh, you would not fill this all the way up with G Fuel and put it in your shaker cup. Because that would be stupid. Reason being is because um, this is actually three scoops of G Fuel. So if you use this for one, it's going to taste like not good. Don't, don't, don't use this for one scoop, please. Just don't. 
then you all are like, oh my god, why did my G Fuel taste like Well, maybe because you put this in one serving of G Fuel, which is absolutely sus. Okay, so here is the, whoa, here's the Phase-X shaker. This thing looks absolutely sick. Holy crap. Okay, so there is the Phase-X shaker. Of course, you have the Phase logo on the front with the X through it. Then you have 2010 to forever again right there. Um, this is like a silverish cup. There's the red little thing. And on the inside, you have the red insert. Um, then on the other side, of course, you have the G Fuel Energy logo and kind of like a cutout metal look, which is super dope. I like that. Um, and then we have the Phase-X sticker, which looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Extraordinary, boys. Absolutely extraordinary. There is, holy crap. Okay, there's the tub. That looks sick. Okay, so there's the front, of course. You have the Phase-X logo right there, the Phase-X flavor. Then you have the G Fuel Energy, and then the Phase logo with the X through it. And then this really, really sick tiger pattern on there. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go fill this up with water and we're going to taste it, of course. We have the phase X shaker and then we have a glass right here so you guys can like see what the color is because this isn't totally transparent. It is kind of transparent, which I'm really happy about because lately the shakers I've been getting, you can't see how much water you're filling up to this line. So, so you feel whenever I try having some hydration at like 12 o'clock when I'm doing my homework and I spill my water all over the floor and my mom comes out of her room and wants to kill me. You think that's very nice? Oh, oh, swag. We're going to be trying this flavor. We're going to be ripping her seal. That's what she said. I'm glad that this is, this tub, the seal in these tubs are not it astronomically horrible to open by the way thank you g fuel for listening to the people oh that can already tell the scoopers all the way at the bottom okay first the tub the powder is white of course since g fuel tends to have ingredients that are all natural so there won't be really color in the powder which means no dyes which would be if you're allergic to like red dye like my brother is you're not gonna die so it doesn't really smell like anything. Kind of getting a hint of pineapple. Weird. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrendous. This is absolutely horrible. I hate my existence. Okay, so now that we got powder all over my fingers, which is great if you ask me. I just love it. I love it, GP. I just, I just love it. I just love it. Yeah. I did, I did wash out the shaker first, so you guys are like, oh my god, he didn't wash the shaker, but when he got it, it's he's nasty. I washed the shaker just now, as I was going upstairs. There's one scoop of the Phase-X G Fuel flavor. Gonna put it in there. Um, I have watched a few reviews of this flavor already, just because like I tend to watch flavor reviews, especially after Electric Shock releases a video. I'm... Pretty much scrambling to go watch it again. So, yeah. There it is. We're going to take it and we're going to shake it and we're going to taste it. I think we've given her a thorough shake. It's good. It's, it's stirred. So, taking our jar with a handle. Huh. And I've heard this tastes like the Frost Gatorade, like the Cherry Frost, which if it is, it's smelling, it's smelling kind of like fruit punch. No, 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 no. It's smelling like, it smells like Bahama Mama. It smells like Bahama Mama. It smells like Bahama Mama. That's weird. That's suspicious. Suspicious. That's weird. Okay, so we're gonna pour the glass and see what color it is. 
Oh yeah, no, definitely not Bahama Mama. Definitely not a Bahama Mama reskin. Look at that. That's white. Like glacier white. That's interesting. Now the only thing left to do is to put on mouth. Huh. Definitely it's not Bahama Mama. 100% it's definitely not Bahama Mama. So people have said that there's pineapple in here. Which I'm definitely getting a pineapple. But I'm also getting a lot of cherry. Which is what it's supposed to be. Which I'm really excited about because this is good. This is, this is great. I like this a lot. Like it's really... Like, it's not, like, overly sweet, but it's sweet enough where it doesn't taste, like, sour. But, man, I like this. This is good. And it has, like, that, uh, the frost flavor. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, like the cooling sensation in your mouth and, like, it's in the back of your throat. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I'll stop with that. That's inappropriate, Kaden. But this is good. This is great. I like this a lot. I know I say that about all flavors. This one's truly a banger. What am I gonna give it? As of right now, I'm going to leave it at a seven and a half out of 10. But this week, I'll progressively drink it and see how good it tastes then. Just to like make sure I know what it tastes like and everything. And I can actually get back to you guys on my uh, on my videos and just tell you how, what I think of it. Um, again, just to update you guys. But so far, it's a seven and a half out of 10. It's a really, really nice flavor. If you guys like a little like a mixed, like, cherry with a hint of pineapple i would say that i would go for this but yeah this this is great i like this a lot so um uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please as always leave a subscribe and a like um you can do that of course um if you don't want to that's totally fine you don't have to but if you want to i would say do it so i'll see you guys next video